हेलो फ्रेंड्स वंस अगेन अ वेरी वार्म वेलकम टू लिट ई सिटी द चैनल विच ब्रिंग्स यू लिटरेचर एंड क्विजेज एंड वेरी डिफरेंट टॉपिक्स रिलेटेड विद इंग्लिश समटाइम ग्रामर टॉपिक्स एंड अदर थिंग्स ओके सो वी आर हेयर विद अ न्यू क्विज ऑन विक्टोरियन नॉवल्स देर इज नो नीड टू से दैट विक्टोरियन एज इज कंसिडर्ड एज द प्राइम एज ऑफ नावल राइटिंग Uh, we have indeed great names like Charles Dickens, William Thackeray, Thomas Hardy, George Eliot. Uh, they all have written some masterpieces of English literature. Uh, in fact, novel writing was considered to be a prime occupation of all the literary artists of this uh, particular era. Uh, there was also a um, a sort of evolution of novel writing during this. Uh, Uh, period and uh, we can see we can witness uh, different genres uh, developing during this time so i have tried to encompass all these issues in this uh, short quiz of 15 questions i hope you will able to enjoy this uh, quiz and you will find it worthy of your time so we start with our first question a fantasy novel uh, here i would like to first Just remind you that fantasy fiction is uh, not a thing of 20th century. It was it very much existed during the Victorian age itself. And as you can see, the House of the Wolfings. This is the name of novel which rejuvenated interest. It rekindled. It recreated interest in medieval tales and has the lasting influence so much that. J R R Tolkien he admitted being inspired for his famous lord of the ring series now you have to identify the writer of this novel dear friends uh, during the victorian age there was uh, we can say uh, a rekindled uh, a kind of uh, going back to these medieval tales and there were many writers interested in these um, we can say uh, during the medieval ages or uh, tales of fantasy horror we can find even traces in gothic fiction too okay uh, coming to our question the house of the wolfings it was written by william morris uh, william morris my dear friends not only he is associated with pre raphaelite movement but he was also a key writer of fantasy fiction he has written many novels uh, which deals with uh, which deal with many uh, elements of fantasy fiction okay our next question is subtitled a novel without a hero this work is a fictional autobiography of an irish adventurer and his exploits as a soldier in the british and prussian armies okay you have to identify the novel a novel without a hero is it the luck of barry lyndon by w m william macpiece thackeray john halifax gentleman by dinah craig vivian grey by benjamin disraeli the cloister and the hurt by charles reed all these novels have their own place of significance in victorian canon uh, they all are very popular also uh, so novel with without a hero there is a reason uh, for subtitling it thus because in this particular novel uh, the protagonist is not typical moral or uh, we can say uh, an uh, aristotelian he hero he is a common person in fact he commits a lot of mistakes and petty crimes during his uh, uh, we can say development during his journey uh, and different wars and these things so uh, in this case the answer is the luck of barry lendon by w 
एम ठाकरे एंड दिस नावल वॉज सब टाइटल अ नावल विदाउट अ हीरो इनफैक्ट वेनिटी फेयर दिस इज द मास्टर पीस बाय विलियम ठाकरे समटाइम्स दिस नावल इज ऑल्सो कंसिडर्ड अ नावल विदाउट अ हीरो द रीजन बिहाइंड दिस पर्टिकुलर नावल इज द फोकस ऑफ द नावल इज ऑन द हीरोइन our next question dear friends is uh, in which novel william thackeray uses the puppet show frame narrative technique you have to identify the novel in which uh, thackeray has used this puppet frame narrative technique my dear friends uh, there are different kind of narrative techniques and uh, novelist uh, they enjoy uh, doing this uh, kind of experiment experimentation with uh, um, their novels their story so uh, you have to identify which novel uh, first of all let us have some idea what is a puppet frame narrative technique uh, basically uh, there are many traditional uh, we can say narrative techniques first person omniscient narrator uh, but a frame puppet show frame or frame story uh, or frame narrative it is basically a story within a story story unfolds uh, another story in it just like in a puppet show it happens so you have to find the novel is it vanity fair the luck of barry lindon pan dennis or henry esmond okay friends i need not to mention here this is the greatest work by thak and you have guessed it right it is vanity fair okay coming to our next question m a titmarsh it was the pseudonym used by this writer to write christmas books which was quite popular quite in vogue at that time uh in fact thackeray has wrote many um, uh, christmas tales as we know dickens was very popular with his christmas tales uh, thackeray has also written many christmas tales among these uh, mrs perkins ball and the rose and the ring these are the most popular of his um, um, christmas books thackeray also has used many pseudonyms for different novels m a t uh, titmarsh uh, being one among them so uh, it is answer i have already in fact told you william thackeray he used this uh, uh, pseudonym m a titmarsh okay our next question dear friend is which among these six novels written by anthony trollope is not set in the fictional english county of barsetshire now uh, the victorian novelist also they have this tendency of creating their own uh, we can say fictional reason we know wessex by hardy that is very popular similarly barsetshire is a fictional reason created by trollope for many of his novels you have to identify the novel which is not set there are basically six novels the warden which is uh, considered the best or and is second is barchester towers dr thorn framley parsnes or castle richmond so the warden i have told you it is one of these novels uh, among these three dr thorn framley parsnes and castle richmond uh, the answer is castle richmond is not set set in barsetshire it is set in ireland it is a story of two protestant cousins uh, i think the name of protagonist are fitzgerald and uh, owen and herbert fitzgerald uh, they are basically vying for the hand of lady clara and there is irish politics involved in the plot also so castle richmond one of another popular novels by um, anthony trollope it is not set in barsetshire okay uh, next one is this uh, uh, eponymous novel is the story of the rise and decline of famous irish actress pag woffington who is the writer of this novel the title of the novel is also pag woffington and you have to identify the writer in fact uh, let me tell you that uh, the writer was very much infatuated by this uh, heroine and uh, he wrote this novel he has also written a play uh, based on her life so he was 
was quite obsessed with her life. Peg Woffington was very popular actress uh, of her time. Uh, the novelist is whether it is Anthony Trollope, Charles Reed, Elizabeth Gaskell or Mrs. Gaskell and Mrs. Humphrey Ward. Uh, the answer for this question, my dear friends, is Charles Reed. He wrote this novel, Peg Woffington. Okay, moving to our next question. A country story full of the breath of cows and the scent of hay. Thus, the novelist describes the novel which became an all-time classic work of English fiction. Okay, you have to tell me the name of this novel. This novel which is very popular and... Uh, uh, you can have the idea country story full of breath of cows is it middle march by george Eliot? vanity fair by thakre diana of the crossways by george meredith or adam b by george Eliot? Uh, uh, among these four novels yes there are two or three novels that deals with the countryside life but none among them is as closely associated with countryside as Adam Bede and that is the answer George Eliot herself described it uh, full of breath of cows and the scent of hay our next question dear friend is which famous Victorian novel is supposed to be the life story of the parents especially father of famous philosopher Erasmus okay this novel is very popular novel by the writer and in this novel he has presented the story of a, a, we can say monk who uh, who suffered a lot of uh, we can say tri trials and tribulation in his life uh, he from a simple man he becomes a cluster because he um, because he has to lost the um, love uh, of his life but later in his uh, life he finds that uh, his beloved is still alive and then once again he uh, changes to uh, secular life and marries her it's a very uh, beautiful narrative and description of monasteries are especially recommended so you have to find out the novel is it the cloister and the hearth or is it pandanus or is it basil or is it the last of the bar uh, barons the Cloister and the Heart, which is written by Charles Reed, Pandanus by uh, William Thackeray, Basil by Wilkie Collins, and The Last of the Barons by Edward Lytton Bulwer. Uh, okay, the answer, I hope you know this one. This is very popular work. The answer is The Cloister and the Heart, which was written by uh, Charles Reed. Our next question is Shakespeare's Sonnets Reconsidered. It is a critical work of the Victorian age through which the author proposes a theory that Shakespeare's sonnets, if rearranged, uh, tell a story about a homosexual affair. You have to find out who is the writer. So uh, you can, the writer was quite eccentric in his works. Uh, what uh, whatever his works are they all are very different from the victorian canon even in this as you can say this critical uh, work he considered the homosexual nature of shakespearean sonnet so whether it is george eliot charles reed samuel butler or wilkie collins dear friend it is samuel butler and let me remind you this is very important questions these days the focus uh, um, uh, of the uh, question setters are on alternative uh, histories of literature those which are uh, either to ignored they are paying more focus on it so these questions are very important our next question dear friends is this critically acclaimed autobiographical novel traces four generations of the Pontifex family, each of which perpetuates the frustration and unhappiness of its predecessor largely as a result of parental repression. So one by one, uh, the generation of Pontifex uh, uh, family, they suffer largely because of their the errors and the shortcomings of their parents. So it's a moving account of the decline of one particular family generation after generation. 
and it has quite a, a strong autobiographical tone in it so is it the lifted veil a blighted life the egoist or the way of all flesh these all are very important for example you may have heard about different novels by george eliot some of them are quite popular popular just just like the mill on the floors adam bead middle march romola daniel derenda but very few read about the lifted veil which explores the themes of extra sensory perceptions the essence of physical life or even possible life after death the power of fate it is one of the less talked about novel of george eliot and similarly a blighted life by rosina bulwer lytton she was the wife of edward bulwer lytton and she has presented a moving account of her um, we can say it, experience of being incarcerated in a mad house by her own husband so how she suffered there the egoist is one of the classical victorian novel by george meredith and the way of all flesh by samuel butler is in itself Uh, uh we can say um work which should defy generic uh, classification we cannot classify it as a particular uh, belonging to a particular genre among all these works it is the last one the way of all flesh by samuel butler which is about the pontifex family which actually is tale of his own family Women in France during the 18th century. It is a two-volume study covering the period from the end of Louis XIV's reign to Napoleon Bonaparte. The writer of this work was an Irish Catholic women writer who remained ignored for a long time. Uh, in fact, uh, the writer of this work was very talented one. She has a great writing skills. She has written many good works, but she was largely ignored of uh, victorian canon but there is rediscovery of her is it mary augusta ward julia kavana allen wood or olivia shakespeare uh, remind you these all are popular victorian novelists popular not in the canonical sense but uh, now critics and uh, uh, scholars are discovering uh, their works the answer the answer for this question is julia kavana Our next question dear friend is the the novel Robert Elsmere it created a sensation in its uh, own day by advocating a christianity based on social concern rather than theology you can understand that good christian is that who is able to perform his social function uh, in a proper way rather than that who is educated in bible and other uh, we can say formal religious element obviously at that time such kind of talk was uh, bound to create a sensation which this novel does so who is the writer is it charles reed uh, who basically write matter of the fact novel who is a great supporter of the evolutionary theories by darwin mrs humphry ward uh, she is also great writer and she is also discovered in 20th century william ainsworth or samuel butler i have already told you the satirical nature the cynical nature of the works by samuel butler uh the answer for this particular question is mrs humphry ward and robert elsmere is uh, her uh, most uh, uh, popular work this highly autobiographical novel by gissing is in the form of a long reflective essay an essay an elegic celebration of true rest after great time Uh, basically this writer george gissing he is known for depicting the life of poor the life of the depressed the oppressed the downtrodden his work like new grub street born in exile henry rycroft and the nether world they all deal with the, the social class which is generally left to ignored in uh, pages and also we can say that uh, his work is in line of 
Thomas Hardy. He is a sheer pessimist write, writer who presents a very bleak vision of, vision of life. This particular novel is basically considered to be uh, autobiographical in nature. And uh, yes, it, it is Henry Rycroft. Sometimes it is with the, uh, uh, the full title for this work is The Private Papers of Henry Rycroft. Okay, the English adventurer and writer who later become became a naturalized Japanese, assuming the name Koizumi Yakumo, and helped introduce Japanese Japanese traditions and culture to Western nations through such works as Glimpses of Unfamiliar Japan and Kwaidan, a collection of old Japanese ghost stories. You have to find out the name of this uh, writer who later become unnaturalized Japanese. He is quite popular. Uh, he became a professor of English in Japan and then reside there. He introduced his country with Japanese literature. So is it A.W. Kinglake or is it Lefkadio Hearn or is it uh, George Borrow or Richard Burton? Let me tell you about these four options. All these four options, all these writers, they are known for their exploit adventurous spirit and exploits in eastern world they have visited worlds different uh, geographical areas and in their works are also uh, either translations or a work which deal with uh, oriental themes uh, for our particular question the answer is Lafcadio Hearn Last question for the day is Fantastase is a representative work of the Victorian fantasy novel that traces the journey of its hero Anodos into the world of fairyland and through this journey the writer preaches moral values for the spiritual growth of man. In fact, let me tell you, this writer is one of the greatest writer of fantasy fiction. He belonged to Scotland and he has great fan following in Scotland. Uh, I have given you an idea. So, Charles Kingsley, obviously not. And it is not Thomas Hood or Mrs. Gaskell. Gaskell, it is George MacDonald. He is a Scottish novelist and most of his works are uh, fantasy fiction. So, once again, Fantastic uh, is his most representative and popular work. Okay, dear friends, it is uh, time to say goodbye for this session. I know these 15 questions are not uh, uh, covering the whole Victorian fiction. It is a very uh, vast field for study. And I would suggest that you should read about all these great writers and their works, summary of their works, so that uh, the concepts and uh, um, uh, basic knowledge of Victorian novels can be more lucid to you uh, we will meet for our next session soon take care till then thank you friends